Now, Barry, it is my pleasure to introduce the players for tonight's MCC matchup. First, the non for the visiting Chiyuan River Hawks. At guard, 5'6 freshman, number one, Emily Thompson. At guard, 5'5 junior, number two, Bobby Tatres. At guard, 5'10 freshman, number three, Serenity Castaneda. At guard, 5'6 junior, Mia Tierina. And at guard, 5'7 junior, number 10, Eva Thompson. Now it's time to meet the starters for the visiting Chiyuan River Hawks. At guard, a 6'3 junior, number 5, Kaya Foster. At forward, a 5'11 freshman, number 13, Jordan Maiden. At guard, a 5'5 sophomore, number 15, Baby Maldonado. At forward, a 6'3 junior, number 22, Melita Rue. And at guard, a 5'8 sophomore, number 23, Gianna Medellin. The River Hawks are coached by Gary Jonas, he's assisted by Rick Maldonado, Megan Wolf, David Wilson, Tavero Rodriguez, Scott Vaughn, and Trent Simpkins.
Thank you and shout out to the best gang man in the league. Tag team officials are going to be skin holes in that weapon. Our second hero is Frank Petro, who is a big black and big control by one of the young top players. And a shot by my neighbor Wayne. He gets a boogie beat that my Joe Frank. My Tuesday night tilt, Bill Hops, Bombers, and I'm next. Inside, it's Rudd getting the first two points for Chiawana. Now it's Chang. Chang, baseline. Take to the hoop. That's two points. It's Chiawana moving up the court. Maiden can't hold on to it. Bomber ball. Scotty, the Bombers have looked very good here early. Uh, an early lead only by two points, but they've looked solid uh, here in the first, what, minute and a half, two minutes. Uh, of this game. It's probably better than they even expected it to uh, look here early. Um, and really kind of isolating or, or making sure that Malia Rudd down low isn't completely dominant, at least on the offense end, but she's been a threat down low on rebounds and on defense. Yeah, part of that is due to a couple of Chiawana, their own mistakes. They've had a couple early turnovers just by silly drop passes and but I have to say, Roe is doing a good job on Rudd early. That time can't hold her back. Malia Rudd for an easy two points. Has all four points here. It's Milam bringing up the court. Milam kicks out to Roe. Roe drives, kicks out to Chang. Chang, floater off the glass. No good brought in by Rudd.
It's Moldado out to run. Again there, we see just another bad mistake from Chiawana. Oh, excuse me, that pass was tipped. It's gonna stay down low, Chiawana ball. Rude. Swings it over to Thompson. In and out, no good. That foul is on Eva Thompson. They get it. Kukas gets it across half court. Now it's with Rowe. Rowe looking inside. Nothing's there. Trying to find Mackenzie Schultz. Now it's Jasmine. Sold that from three. No good. Brought in by Schultz. And the putback is good. She's going to the line. Trying for and one. It's a great hustle play by Schultz there. Seen it a lot this season. Schultz just getting a lot of and ones. Schultz can't convert. It's Maldonado over to Thompson. Foster back out to Thompson. Trying to find something. You can hear Coach saying swing the ball. Foster kicks out to the corner. Now it's Thompson from three. No good. Brought in by Soldat. Jasmine Soldat moving up the court. Now to row. Over to Chang. Chang didn't like the shot. Stolen by Thompson. Moldonado now to one on two. But she'll slow things down and set the offense up. Rude from three, no good. Kukas now slows things down and sets up the offense. And skip past the Schultz. So Schultz picks up or gets a foul drawn. Foul was on number 10, Eva Thompson. Her second foul. Now it's Ryan Stottlemyre in for the Bombers. For the Riverhawks, it's Eva Thompson and Bailey Maldonado. It's a timeout for the Bombers with two minutes and 59 seconds here in this first quarter. We'll stay here, but Scotty, uh, or first off, fans, sorry for the technical difficulties. Uh, we were trying to figure out some things on our end uh, to get everything working uh, for this or here early in this game but we're going to go kind of through our what we would have gone through pre-game um these two teams they're, they're both solid teams and chiawana is a force to be reckoned with uh, especially malia rude uh, has 1070 points and she's only a junior and it's the start of her junior year um so she's obviously studying and kaya foster as well i mean kaya's six three and you don't see that in girls basketball, girls high school basketball hardly ever. No, you uh, so the Bombers have a test on their hand. Uh, now they, they have some size with Ryan Stoudemire, Mackenzie Schultz, uh, and Maya Rowe. And we saw Rowe battling out early with Maria Rude uh, down low. We'll see what happens as she's out of the game. But Schultz and Stoudemire in. Now the Bombers with the ball. Kukis out on three line. Over to Chang. Chang to Soldat. Soldat trying to find someone. She swings it over to Kukas. Kukas drives baseline. It's fouled on the way. Bombers not getting a lot of early looks. Not uh, not getting a lot of close looks early on. Have had to settle for a lot of threes, which I don't love when it's the first shot, but hopefully they can turn it around here. Smart play there by Kaya Chang just threw it off the leg. Uh, of Kaya Foster trying to make sure that the five or ten second violation didn't go up. Chang trying to get it in, gets it in Stoudemire. Stoudemire over to Chang. Chang looking inside, nothing's there. 
Now it's Soldat. Swing to Stottlemyre. In the corner, it's Kukas. Kukas, ball gets stolen away by Thompson. Now it's Kukas and Schultz double teaming. That's good from three. Medella's money shot uh, from beyond the arc, able to connect and get them their first lead of the game. Yeah, she had an open shot, and there was a bomber defender there, but they didn't step up and really contest it, leaving for an open shot. It's Chang in the corner. Jab steps. Had a shot, but didn't take it. Now it's sold at driving. Finds Kukas. Kukas driving with under five on the shot clock. Kicks out to Soldat. Soldat from three. Uh, off the back rim, no good. Kukas gets the rebound. Back inside. Stottlemyre. Uh, that's, that time was stolen by Kaya Foster. Now it's Thompson. Easy lane to the basket. Can't convert. But Malia Rube, guess who it was? Right in the right place for the putback. Another easy two points. She has six here early. Yeah, really unfortunate play for the Bombers. Not picking up the player on the way into the land, but Rude was there for the putback. Maya Tiarina in for the Riverhawks, as well as Maya Rowe in for the Bombers. Shot no good. Rude there for the rebound. Spinning around. Turn around, shot no good. Stays Riverhawk ball. Malia Rude is, is one of the most dominant basketball players I've seen in high school basketball in a long time. Uh, not just because she's taller and stronger than most of the girls inside, but she, I mean, she has great footwork, like you see right there. Uh, able to create her own shots if it's not open, uh, and then knows knows when to use certain moves that you don't typically see until uh, you get to that state tournament or you get uh, to that next level. And we have one of the best players in the state of Washington on the court tonight in Malia Root. Absolutely, and it's not just the offensive side. I mean, the Bombers are scared to find something in the key. They've been settling for shots on the outside and haven't been finding a whole lot. Now it's Rowe. Driving inside, looking for something, and it's a travel call. Go another way, Riverhawk ball. Under 30 seconds left here in the first quarter. Kai Foster will check in for Malia Ruth. <laughs> Bringing up the court, it's Medellas. Riverhawks looking for one last shot. And that was guarded by Milam. With 10 on the clock. Nice take there by Maldonado, getting that last shot. And as time expires, Milam from half court, no good. And after one, it's 13 to six. The Riverhawks lead the Richland Bombers. Welcome back here to second quarter play as the Riverhawks lead 13 to six over the Bombers. Maldonado 
Gets over Foster. Driving inside on Schultz. She goes up. Ball is blocked. And they call a late, late foul. I mean, the ball was already on the ground. Or I believe that was Rowe that put it on the ground. Uh, and then they called the foul. Yeah, the ball did look like it was kind of heading the other way when they made that. But see here. First, first, one. first one good. Second one good as well. First two points for Foster. Now it's Schultz inbounding. Looking for Milam. She gets it in. It's Milam. Looking for Soldat. Backdoor cut. Soldat mid range jumper, no good. Brought in by Rowe. To travel as she just fell to the ground with the ball in her hands. There's not much you can do for that. A really good play design though for the Bombers. Finding a open kind of mid-range shot. Wasn't able to fall. Maiden. Over to Tirena. Now it's Maldonado. Inside. Maiden easy, easy two points. Moving quick, it's Milam looking up court for Rowe. Nelson's there and she'll slow things down, set the offense up. Gets it over to Kukis. Kukis driving baseline, foul called. They'll say Foster pushed her uh, on the way. Yeah, I have to say, I didn't see a whole lot there. Yeah, I didn't see much either. Stolen by Maldonado, but stolen right back by Milam. Now she's guarded by Foster. And they'll set things up, gets the screen. Goes right over the top. Can't go over the top on Kaya Foster. Santa at 6-3. Maldonado gets over Foster. Foster drives but kicks out. From three, in and out, no good. Now it's Milo. Lucas driving off the screen, tries to go on a pick and roll to Schultz as they're on her way. Nope, they'll say it was on the ground. Foul was on Jordan Maiden. Malia Rude will check in uh, for the Riverhawks. And Kai Chang will check in for the Bombers. Milam. Offensive foul called. We'll see on who I believe will be 34 Meyer row. And it is a legal screen. And that's the hard part about playing against someone who's so physical as Malia Root. It's hard to not be try and be even more physical and beat them in that game. Uh, and oftentimes that will end up in fouls. Yeah, when you're playing someone who's just bigger than you, it's going to be hard. And if you're like you said, it will turn into some fouls. Off the screen, that's good from beyond the arc. Medella's money from beyond the arc, that's her second three. Down low, it's Rowe, shot is blocked by Maiden. Yeah, she came in out of nowhere, did not see her coming. Maldonado gets called for travel. <laughs> Emily Thompson in for the Riverhawks. And it's a full timeout called by Chiawana. 20 to six with five minutes, 48 seconds left here in this first half, the Riverhawks lead.
Welcome back here with five minutes, 48 seconds left in this first half. The River Hawks have a commanding lead and the Bombers need to do something to try and mount a comeback uh, here. They, they don't got too much time. Did the same thing again. That's Chang that's done that twice now. I mean, it's hard to get it in when a 6'3 person is standing in front of you. Uh, so, I mean, I, I, you can't get mad at her for doing that. She gets it into the corner to Milam. Milam has space to work now. They back off and they'll set the offense up. Yeah, Chiawana was in a full court press there. Part of the reason making it so hard to inbound the ball. Chiawana's just been playing really good defense. Milam from three, a really good look. Uh, not able to get it to go. Pass to Rude. Saves it from going out. Had Foster down low, but the, she'll get up to the top to em Emily Thompson. Thompson guarded by Schultz. Out to Medellas from three again. That time no good. Schultz coming down with the rebound. They'll call a foul on Thompson. That's Emily Thompson's third personal foul. Uh, I'm, I bet that's the last time we'll see her in this half. Uh, just because three fouls, you got to be super careful. And she's she's a player they're going to need here late in the game. Foul called by Maiden that time. Yeah, back-to-back -back fouls puts Chiwana up to four on the quarter. And one more, and the Bombers will be in double bonus, which they really need down 14 here about halfway through the second quarter. It's Milam bringing up to court. Milam gets it over to Chang. Chang guarded by Foster. Now they'll keep it on the right side, hands off to Schultz. Schultz goes back the other way, down low, tries to get it to Chang. <laughs> There's three Riverhawks on there. She dribbled out of that really quick. Ball is blocked. She went up. Lots of contact. No foul called. And shot clock will expire. It's going another way. Riverhawk ball. I mean, that's just really good defense by the Riverhawks. They had, Bombers had three opportunities down low uh, that they just couldn't convert on. And, and that's mainly because of uh, the, the defense of the Riverhawks. Yeah, Foster and Rude down low just make it impossible for the Bombers to get anything going down low and they can't connect anything outside the three-point line but making it really tough for them tonight. Now it's Medellas inside to Foster. Foster up going up. No foul called on that. Kind of looks like there could have been based on the fouls being called in today's game. But Foster, I mean, just showing her pure size, just going up uh, really strong and getting that two points off the glass. Now it's Chang to Milam. Milam going inside off the glass, finally. Uh, I believe those are their, that's their first points of the second quarter uh, here with over halfway through uh, this second quarter. Yeah, really good play by Milam, faking the handoff and doing a little floater off the glass. Foster from three, she can't connect. Brought in by Schultz. Schultz tried to throw something up, and I, her arm got hit as she went up, and they'll call a foul, and she's going to the line shooting two. That puts them in bonus, double bonus as well. Schultz makes the first. Second one no good by Schultz, brought in by Foster. Maldonado. Driving kicks out to Rude, Rude, long. And it's tipped off of Chang, they will say, and it's still Chiawana ball. Sold that, checks into the game for Schultz. Rude inside to Foster. Foster goes right over Soldat, no good, but gets her own rebound. 
and the ball is just ripped out her hands down low. Milam can't. She just was moving too quick, couldn't slow down in time uh, to get the land. Down low, it's rude. Rude going up, gets fouled, and she'll be going to the line, shooting two. Fouls on Maya Rose, second personal foul. And that's actually really good. Uh, the fact that she only has two fouls going, or battling down low with Malia Rude, I mean, that's impressive. Uh, you've seen time and time again teams just pick up too many fouls uh, down low because, I mean, that's honestly the best defense you can play on her is Fowler and uh, send her to the line. But uh, playing really good defense, in my opinion, down low. Rude, no good on both. Foster keeps getting her own rebound. That finally, third time's the charm. She gets it to go. Getting into Chang. Chang finds Milam. Now it's Kukes from three. Kukes rolls around the rim, no good. Really good shot. Yeah, also a great find from Milam too with Rude in her face and kicks it out. That time, that's money from beyond the arc. <laughs> Contreras. Yeah, I don't know how with this lineup on the, for the Bombers you're going to guard all this. You got Schultz on Rude right now, and Foster is just kind of, there's no one a real good height advantage for the Bombers to put someone on Foster. Milam can't connect from three. Still only three points here in the second quarter for the Bombers. It's going the other way, Bomber ball. Maldonado and Foster out for the Riverhawks. Gets it into Kukas. Kukas moving quick, goes up off the glass. Great take by Kylie Kukas. T Arena over to Castanda. Castaneda, sorry. Rude down low. She's playing bully ball down there. Uh, no, you can't really stop her. Uh, Ten points here in this first half. Yeah, I don't know if there's anything she can't do down low. Her footwork's really good. She can shoot with her right hand and her left. Uh, it's it's gonna be tough for the Bombers to keep up with her all night. Tarina going the other way. In the corner, and then they'll swing it around. Floater fouled on her way up. That's, she'll be going to line shooting two. Tarina. Makes the first. Milam and Thompson check in for the game. Thompson for Rude and Milam in for Schultz. Both teams kind of going with small ball on the court. Uh, Bombers have Stottlemyre and Riverhawks have Maiden, uh, but that's a pretty fair matchup height-wise. Lane violation, she'll get another shot. No, but she, well, she made it, so it doesn't matter. Milam. Milam driving. Can't get it to go off the glass. <laughs> Fouls on Soldat. Chiwana in bonus now. <laughs> Maiden can't make the first. Second one no good as well.
Thompson. Now from three, that's good from beyond the arc. Castaneda. Sold that now. Sold that, no good from three. Under 25 on the clock. It's Thompson guarded by Kukic. She'll slow things down and set the offense up. Maiden, Maiden, good off the glass. 10 seconds, Bombers trying to get one last point here before the half. Milam with five on the clock. She'll throw it up, Kukas, and that's good. That was a funky looking shot, but a good way to head into the break at halftime. It's 14 to 36, the Riverhawks leading the Richland Bombers.
Luck shots, you could say, uh, but they're gonna have to start using her like that and take to the lane. Just they gotta find a way that she can get a better shot opportunity than that. Yeah, the Riverhawks are playing really good defense in that first half, not allowing a lot inside. I was Foster there, two points, and they had to settle for a lot of threes and they didn't weren't making a lot. That time Chang took it, uh, ball got tipped away by Foster. Really good defense once again by Foster, just using her, her size and length. Now it's Milam. Milam looking inside, nothing's there. Over to Chang. Chang guarded by Maldonado. Inside, nothing but Milam. Milam fires for three. That's good. Money from beyond the arc. Macy Milam. And that's where they're going to need it if they're going to want to get back in this game and start making those threes because they can shoot on this team. There's a lot of shooters. Got to start falling. It's Foster looking inside the room. Nothing's there. Inside Foster, Rude. Ball was tipped away by Rode. Really good defense there by Rode. Even get a finger on it uh, and, and stop or not allow Lee Rude to get that down low for an easy two points. Outside is Medellas. Now Foster. Foster turnaround jumper. Really good shot, just couldn't get it to go. Length of the court is Kukas. Kukas couldn't hold on to the ball. She'll get it to Milam. Milam finding Schultz cutting. Schultz goes up off the glass foul on the way up. She'll be going to the line, shooting two. Yeah, a really good cut by Schultz there. Able to get open and put up a shot. She won a foul on number five, Kaya Foster, second personal team first. Schultz on the line, she builds. Bounces around, finally drops for the Bombers. Schultz has six points. Schultz makes both. Maldonado. Bring up the court, guard by Kukas. Driving. Some happened there, but got it out to Foster. Now it's Chang looking for someone, gets Kukas. Moving quick now, three on three, but she'll slow things down and set the offense up. Kukas over to Milam. Milam driving baseline. Finding Chang cutting, fouled. Maldonado kind of just got her arm, her right arm, she couldn't get both hands up. Uh, she had some good call. Chang inbounding for the Bombers. They get into Kukas. Kukas over to Chang. Chang pump fake, driving, floater, swatting. Go another way, Riverhawk ball. Maldonado gets it over to Foster. Foster driving, fouled on the way, and one call. She's doing the line, trying to three the old back away. Fouls on Kaya Chang. Yeah, not totally sure what the Bombers can really do on defense to stop the two on offense. With the mixture of Foster and Rude, they're having a really hard time. And it's a full timeout with five minutes, 46 seconds left here in the third quarter. Bombers started out a little hotter uh, in that third quarter than they did in the second. But we'll see what happens after the break.
Bombers with a 21 point deficit. And Foster's on the line. One shot, trying to get it turned into a three point play. Chang looking for someone, gets it into Milam. Milam decides to slow it down and bring it across half court. Over to Chang. Chang back to Milam. Milam fires from three, no good off the front rim. Brought in by Maiden, and it's a foul called on Soldat. No, they'll call it on Jordan Maiden. Yeah, Chiwana coming out of that timeout in a full court press. And once Milan crossed half court, they changed into a double team on her. Interesting to see them switching up their defense a little bit. It looked like they were working really well in that first half. Then, like what they saw the first couple minutes of the third. Chang from three. That's good. Nothing but that. You can see Coach Russell she she mouth. Look at that. She knows Chang can shoot. Uh, Chang just needs, Kyle just needs to take some more shots uh, when she has it. Now it's four on one. Schultz loses the ball. Stolen back by Milam. Milam goes up looking for a foul. Schultz. Oh, and then he got tipped right to Milam. Milam baseline jumper, no good. Foster gets to Molinato. Maldonado. Now it's Foster. Back to Maldonado. We'll set up off. Step back three. That's nothing but that. Good from beyond the arc. I mean, we talk about Foster and Wood, but there we toss both of them in the corners and had a step back three from Maldonado. Across the creek, uh, key. Great find there by Kaya Chang and Jasmine Solat there to finish it off. And now she's going to the line for an and one. So that can't make it. Now it's Maldonado. That's good from beyond the arc. Maldonado, another good shot. And it's a timeout called. 30 second timeout by the Riverhawks. We'll just stay here. Uh, you can see. Coach Jonas just, I'm, he, he put on a whole new bench or a whole new squad out there, so we're going to see five fresh legs uh, on the court for the Riverhawks. Now for the Bombers, they they have looked better here uh, in, in this second half, taking more shots, taking better shots when uh, they do take the shots. So there is some signs of life on um, that Bombers, and they, they're playing good defense, and they're playing, they're not playing bad offense either. So uh, for Coach Westerfield, she, she has to tell her team. I mean, whatever happens with this game, but Chihuahua is a really good team, and it's hard to beat a really good team uh, unless you play your absolute best, and I don't think we saw the absolute best uh, from the Bombers, especially there in that third quarter, but they're playing really good ball here uh, in this second half. Yeah, the Bombers definitely stepped things up on the offensive side. I think they're getting out in transition better. And then they're, like we said, like I said, right, at, right out of the half, uh, I mean, Kenzie Schultz, they had to use her. Look at that. They just found her. Uh, took a really good shot, got fouled up on the solid way. Yeah, the problem is on the defensive side. They still haven't been able to really stop this Chihuahua offense. And it hasn't been Foster, but it's been Maldonado shooting from the three. So adding in that third factor is going to be even more of a challenge for this bottom defense. Both good by Schultz. She has nine points. This, this evening. Now it's Thompson. Thompson to Thompson. Tiarina. Look inside. Thompson over to Tiarina. She fired from beyond the arc. Got no good off the front rim. Kukas there for the rebound. Really small lineup out there for Chiawana right now. Really trying to run the floor against the Bombers. 
Now it's Chang. Chang. Stug gets out to Soldat. Soldat for three. No good. Rowe there for the rebound. Kukas. Kukas. No good. Soldat wide open under the hoop. Couldn't get it to go. And it's a jump ball. Chiawana ball. Emily Thompson bringing up the court. Out to, no, it's stolen by Schultz. Schultz, and the ball got tipped away. And they'll say it's Riverhawk ball. And they'll make an adjustment. Bomb the ball. Kaya Chang getting in to Kukas. Kukas inside the row. Row going up. Now it's Solat. Solat from three. That time she gets it to go. Bomber finally hitting some threes here in the second half. It's three now for the Bomber. No good. That time it was long from Contreras, but it's brought in and saved by the Riverhawks. Still their ball. Purina from three. No good. Riverhawks get another offensive rebound. That time it's Chang that'll pick up the foul. The Bombers just have to get more defensive rebounds and, and, and stop the Riverhawks from getting offensive rebounds, uh, I guess more than anything, because that's two times that it was in the Bombers' hands, and then just it, it ended up as Riverhawk ball. Kukas will pick up a foul trying to get that ball. And right now is the time for them to capitalize on this moment with Foster and Rhoda out. Root out. Uh, they have all the height on the floor. They should be getting rebounds and just playing the ball. Tiarina, getting it into Thompson. Now Tiarina from beyond the arc, no good. Cut in by Eva Thompson. Eva Thompson, double dribble call though. It's Chang inbounding. Tiarina in a full court press. Getting it in, no one is stolen. Stolen back by the Bombers, it's Chang. Chang the road. Stolen by Thompson. Thompson swatted by Kukas. That's a hustle play right there. A lot of chaos on the floor right now. Three turnovers turning into a squat. Chiawana will keep the ball down low. In for the Bombers, it's Kehlani Reyes. Contreras. That's Serenity Castaneda. Castaneda from three. I mean, the Riverhawks can't hardly miss from beyond the arc. And the Bombers are having a really hard time breaking this press right now. Tipped out Bomber Ball. The hardest part for them is just getting it in more than anything. Once they get it in, it, they, they've been done a really good job of breaking the press. Uh, but they, I mean, they just can't seem uh, to inbound it hard or find someone. Riverhawks are doing a really good job playing really good defense, running up and down the court. That's why they have this small lineup in. That's a foul called. And bo with double bonus, Bombers, or Myro going to line, shoot two. Checking out, it's Emily Thompson. Maldonado, Rude, Foster, and Medellis in for the Riverhawks. I mean, their whole starting lineup back is back in now. Castaneda, the only non-starter in for the Riverhawks right now. Rowe makes the first.
Second one, no good. Brought in by Castaneda. Molnado in the corner. From the corner, no good. Foul called. Fouls on Serenity Castaneda. Yeah, just a little push in the back when trying to get that rebound. Stoudemire on the line, shooting two. First one bounced around, finally dropped. Second one, no good. Brought in by Medellas. Looking inside, didn't have anything. In the corner, it's Foster. Foster driving baseline. Gets it to Rude, but they'll say she stepped out. <laughs> if, that, if she didn't step out, that would have been a perfect find uh, to Rude. Getting it in. No, it's tipped away by Maldonado. Bomber ball. I'm honestly just very surprised on how hard of a time the Bombers are breaking this press. I haven't kind of seen anything like it. Now it's Schultz. Schultz swings it over to Kukas. Kukas from three. In and out, no good. Brought in by Foster. Inside, it's Rude. Rude turning around. I mean, she makes that look really easy. Into Kukas. Kukas with a great catch there. Driving off the glass, going to the line, and one. Really tough finish for Kukas there. After kind of getting that body check, she finished the layup. No good by Kukas. Maldonado over to Foster. Inside to Rude. Rude goes up off the glass. Once again, makes it look real easy. It gets Rude up to 14 points on the night. Who gets to the corner to Stoudemire? Just couldn't hold on to it. Under five seconds. Two seconds on the clock. We'll see if they can make something happen. Foster, getting into Maldonado. Time expires at the end of the third quarter, 54-33. Riverhawks lead the Bombers.
Kukas bringing it up for the Bombers. Over to Schultz. Schultz from three, that's long, no good. Foster getting it up. No, ah, she tried to get to Maiden, but tipped away by Schultz. Really good defense. Foster getting into Rude. Rude off the glass, no good. Foster, of course she was there for the putback. Getting in, sold that. That pass just was kind of to nobody. Uh, didn't get tipped, so Riverhawk ball will be down at, the, at their end of the court. Foster looking for someone. Getting it into Maiden. Maiden, no, can't get the lane to go. Picks up a dribble, gets it over to Chang. Now Chang gets it to Soldat. Now it's Schultz. Schultz driving left, spinning around, back right, goes up, off the glass, no good, brought in by Ruth. Maldonado. Now it's stolen by Schultz. They'll call it jump ball. Four bombers can get possession, and it is Riverhawk ball. Great play for Schultz, though, recognizing that she was trapped on that sideline and coming over for the double team. Maldonado. Stepped out of bounds. Medella just couldn't quite hold on to it. Or I guess she held on to it, but couldn't quite uh, get that toe tap like we see in a football game. Uh, but she couldn't quite get two feet in and, and, and save it. <laughs> Yeah, pass kind of let her a little too far out of bounds. Chang had sold that baseline, but just didn't quite have the right passing lane. Chang driving baseline, kicks out to Rowe. Rowe swings it. No, she'll take it herself. Taking it right down the lane. No good. Liddell's inside to Rude. Rude, I mean, phenomenal footwork that allowed her uh, to just create her own shot. Uh, the Bombers just are trying too many uh, full court, they're trying too many full court passes. And I get it, they, that's kind of the only time they've had success breaking the press. Uh, but it, it's just, it's not working anymore. They figured out, uh, the Riverhawks figured out how to stop it. So, with six minutes, 15 seconds left in this ball game, it's 58-33, the Riverhawks lead. Six minutes, 15 seconds left here in this ball game. Comeback might be out of reach for the Bombers, but they can sure put a dent in it. They're just gonna have to lock down here uh, on defense. Kukas guarding Maldonado over to Maiden. Inside, it's Rude. Rude backing down off the glass. That time doesn't get it to go. And it'll go the other way, Bomber ball. Yeah, Chihuahua is still in this full court press, but I think the Bombers just need to take a second Calm down, pass the ball, find the open person. 
in this play there game. Chang getting it to Schultz. Schultz gets across half court. Now it's Rowe. Rowe, ball is tipped away. Chang looking for someone. <laughs> Tips it off Foster again. I mean, that's the third time. I, you rarely see it, and it's the third time tonight. And they're not passing it off the back to get in bounds and find an easy bucket. They just want more time on the clock because they're playing such good defense. It's Kukas. Pass, tries to get it to Schultz. Ball just slipped, went right over the head of Schultz. Out of bounds. Riverhawk ball. Yeah, we've seen that a few too many times tonight from the Bombers, just those bad passes. And that, ju that just stems mainly from uh, nothing else other than when you have a 6-3 Kaya Foster guarding you, guarding the ball on the inbounds. A great finish there by Malia Rude. Uh, but when you have Kaya Foster standing in front of you, you can't see over it. You can't toss it over. Uh, you just got to find something. Uh, and then you, you see that. Kylie Kukas tried to just get it over over the defender. Uh, and that's why it was just a high ball. Uh, couldn't give it to Schultz. Rude on the line. Shoot and trying just for one uh, to get three points. It's a 30 second timeout. By Chiawana Scotty, we'll just stay here. Now, uh, the Bombers, the score says one thing, but I think. Honestly, the Bombers looked like a different team than the first half and the second half. If they played like this this second half, uh, the whole game. It, it would be a lot closer than uh, it would be a lot closer than it is right now. And, and it was all stemmed from that second quarter when they didn't they didn't score a single point until four minutes in. And, and you can't go uh, play a team as powerful and as good as Chihuahua is and not score hardly at all in the second quarter. Uh, so I think it stems in that. Uh, but other than that, I think I think the Bombers have played a, a fairly good game for most of the game other than that second quarter. Yeah, they kind of shot themselves in the foot in that second quarter, but they, they kept their head up. They they fixed some things on offense. They're working on defense, trying to break that press. Uh, they showed a lot of heart today and some good things in the second half. Milam gets it over to Rowe. Rowe driving, kicks out to Schultz. Schultz. Finds Milam in the corner. Milam fires from three, and that's good. Nothing but net. Second one for Milam today. She has that capability, and in big games, they need to find Milam from beyond the arc when she's hot, because when she gets hot, it's, it's hard for her to miss. Absolutely. Another thing that they did poorly in that first half is they, they could not make shots from beyond the arc. Kukas tried to find Milam, but that tipped away. Really good defense by Medellas. Thompson in the game for the Riverhawks. Milam inside kicks out to Kukas. Kukas, floater tipped away, still bomber ball. So that's a Schultz. Now to the corner, it's Rowe. Ball is tipped out of bounds. Still bomber ball. Four seconds on the shot clock, so they got to get a quick shot. And the shot clock will expire with no shot up. I mean, you, you can't do much about that with four seconds, and then you get it in across half court. There's not much you can do. Uh, that, I mean, it's hard to get a shot up in four seconds when you're right under the hoop, let alone uh, when you have to get across half court. Stottlemyre in for row. Yeah, I think the Bombers kind of got to recognize that next time that they only have four seconds and you can't be passing it behind half court to dribble up. You got to pass it in and find that first shot. Made in. No good. Down low. Tiarina with a really good finish. Now it's Milam. Milam finds Stottlemyre. Stottlemyre down low. Ball gets tipped away. Yeah. 
Badellas bringing it across half court. Now it's Jordan Maiden. Over to Contreras. That's stolen by Milam. Milam <laughs> gets a nice easy lane. Great play from Milam with the steal. Almost didn't get that finish. He was a little off balance. Kind of scared me for a second. Stolen by Schultz. Schultz gets a nice easy land. Really good defense here by Bombers on the last couple possessions. Now it's Kukas. But they get it over the top to Jordan Maiden. Tirena over to Thompson. Maiden down low. No good. But Contreras there for the rebound. Bomber ball. Milam bringing up the court. Now it's Kukas over to Milam. Milam looking inside. Nothing's there. She'll take it herself. Going up. Ball is swatted, but she's fouled on the way up. She'll be going to the line shooting too. Fouls on Jordan Maiden. Team first. Milam gets it to go. Second one, no good. Maiden brings in the rebound. Medellas over to Thompson. Thompson back to Medellas. Medellas driving, kicks it to the corner. It's Maiden. They'll swing it around over to Thompson. Thompson driving, floater off the glass, no good. There for her put back and she gets it to go. Seeing that a lot tonight, a lot of second chance points for these River Cross team. Stottlemyre had the, the lay in. She got, the, got Maiden to go by, but then the second one got blocked. Contreras. Over Medellas. Medellas driving. Good finish and, and one. She was going to the line. Trying for three. Really good take there. Kaylani Reyes in the game for the Bombers. Three points converted by Medellas. Reyes over to Chang. Now it's Reyes. Reyes from three. Bounce around, no good. Out of bounds, bomber ball. Carly Kreutz in the game for the Bombers. Ball tipped away by Maiden. Chang. Inbounding gets it in. Nope. Stolen by the Riverhawks. Medellas. Medellas to the corner to Maiden. Maiden driving. Fouled on her way to lane on the ground. Now Jordan Maiden, uh, once they subbed out Olia Rude and Kaya Foster, she's really stepped up. I, I know it's late in this game, but she's playing really good. Uh, hustle plays. Showing her athleticism and size here uh, late in this game, and it's, I mean, it's paying off. She, she's playing a really good game. Yeah, no, definitely a great player. Can kind of play any position almost. She can score at all the levels. Good defender. 
Off the foot of Reyes, going the other way, it's Tiarina. In the corner, it's Maiden. Maiden driving, fouled on the way. Definitely uh, a battle going on between Sotomayor and, Ma and Jordan Maiden. Uh, you could see uh, down the court they were battling it out, and then uh, when she, that was a hard foul. That was a really hard foul. First is good by Maiden. Second good as well. Now it's Chang. Chang, look at inside. Ray is now. Ball is tipped away right into Maiden's hands. Maiden guarded by Stottlemyre. Now up the court, it's Thompson. Driving. She's fouled on her way up. She's going to the line shooting too. 31 seconds uh, on the clock. It's 69 41. It's good by Thompson. Second one, no good. Brought in by Maiden. Foul. No, no foul. Looked like a foul to me. It, now it's sold out. It really did. It looked like she kind of brought that arm down. Reyes, way long. Thompson with under 15. We'll see what the Riverhawks do, and I bet they just let the time run out. And that is what they will do. It's a 70 to 41. Riverhawks beat the Richland Bombers and advance to six and three on the season. Bombers picking up their first loss of the year. Really, I mean, a really competitive team. Uh, the Bombers played a good game against a really good Chihuahua Riverhawks team, I wouldn't be surprised if the Riverhawks uh, make it deep, not only in the MCC, but in, in the state of Washington. It's led by Malia Rood uh, and Kaya Foster. Now for the Bombers, uh, like we said, they're going to need they're going to need a, a, a couple a couple key players to step up. Milam, she's going to need to start shooting really well from beyond the arc. We saw that a couple times here in the game. Uh, and then Mackenzie Schultz down low on the offensive end and on the defensive end. I mean, Maya Rowe, I thought, played a really good game uh, overall. As, as, as a good defense. of a game as you can play against someone like Rude. Um, no, she definitely played really well on defense. But they definitely, they just didn't have the size tonight. She wanted to play a really good, aggressive defense all game long. Uh, they found the open person on offense. And as you guys can see, boys team running out. We'll be back here on Atomic TV uh, in 17 minutes for the Richland boys versus the Chihuahua boys uh, for tonight's matchup. Thank you guys for joining us here this evening, and we'll see you next time. As always, go Bombers.